As the farthest human-made object ever to leave Earth, Voyager 1 has been traveling alone through deep space for more than 46 years. According to the latest data, it is now located approximately 23.9 billion kilometers from Earth. At such an immense distance, even traveling at the speed of light would take about 22 hours to reach it. So how do humans still receive information sent back from Voyager 1 across the vastness of space? In the universe, all data must be transmitted through electromagnetic waves. The most prominent part of Voyager 1 is its high-gain antenna, a dish measuring 3.7 meters in diameter. This antenna collects data, compresses and encodes it, then transmits it back to Earth through signal modulation. Because of the extreme distance, Voyager 1 must remain precisely oriented toward Earth. Using ultra-high precision gyroscopes, the spacecraft keeps its antenna locked on our planet, ensuring the accuracy of its signal. Back on Earth, NASA operates three deep space communication facilities located in the United States, Spain, and Australia, positioned roughly 120 degrees apart. This global arrangement allows continuous communication with Voyager 1 despite Earth's rotation. However, due to the spacecraft's limited transmission power and the fact that Earth's receiving antennas have a maximum diameter of only 70 meters, the signal Voyager 1 sends arrives at Earth at just 1 63 trillionth of its original strength. In deep space communication, data reliability matters far more than speed. As a result, Voyager 1's image transmission rate is only 1.4 kilobits per second. The dim image you see, the famous pale blue dot, was captured by Voyager 1 on February 14, 1990, from a distance of 6.4 billion kilometers. That tiny speck contains everyone you love, everyone you know, everyone you've ever heard of, and countless lives lived and lost. Without humanity's presence, this mode of dust, suspended in a sunbeam, might never have been noticed at all. Voyager 1 is powered by three radial isotope thermoelectric generators. The plutonium-238 inside them is an extremely rare and expensive radioactive element capable of providing electricity for decades. According to NASA, Voyager 1's power supply is expected to last only until around 2025. When that energy is finally depleted, contact with the spacecraft will be lost forever. Notably, Voyager 1 also carries a gold-plated copper record, designed to survive for hundreds of millions of years. It contains greetings and music in 55 human languages, the location of our solar system, and a record of human civilization. Once we lose contact with Voyager 1, its future becomes entirely unknown. It may drift into another galaxy millions of years from now, or perhaps be discovered by an extraterrestrial civilization. By then, Earth itself may no longer exist, but at the very least, Voyager 1 will stand as proof that human civilization once arose on a small planet called Earth, within the solar system. 